In this video we will be working a little bit more closely with layers and center lines. In previous drawings I just had you put in these green center lines as kind of a placeholder. On the original drawings we have these nice plus signs at the center point of various circles or arcs. This video is going to teach you how to refine those center marks and make them look real nice and organized. Now before I do that, I do want to mention that we are working with the layer menu. By default, the TD template is set up to be in the object layer. We also have a center line layer. If I just draw a line, it's put in the object layer. If I select the center line layer, so my center line layer is active, and then draw a line, it will automatically draw that line in the center line layer, which is a long line with a short dash and a long line. If I want to convert a line, I could click my line to select it, come up here to my layer menu and pick center mark or center line and that's going to put it in any different layer that I want by selecting the line first and then just choosing the layer or I could hit escape a couple times deselect everything pick whatever layer I want to draw in and then I could draw in that layer for doing these center marks, we need to first convert our center lines back into object lines because it will make it a lot easier to do. Now the method I'm going to show you is one method of creating these center marks and then down the road I'm going to show you a different method. This particular method involves using the offset command and we are going to offset these lines an eighth of an inch two times each way okay so I have a lot of lines here and it makes it kinda difficult so I'm gonna do this a couple times I'm going to trim off these pieces and then delete out some of my other lines that I no longer need. And that gives us these nice little plus signs inside of there. Now depending the size of the circle sometimes you might want these gaps to be a little bit smaller because right now it's kind of hard to tell where our center lines end and begin and where our object is because of the size of the circle. So I'm going to do these same procedures again, but I'm going to only offset it a sixteenth each time. So let's go ahead and back up. Okay. Convert this to our object layer. I'm going to offset these lines. This time I'm doing a sixteenth of an inch because these circles are a little bit smaller as I mentioned. Two times each way. All right. Now just for clarity purposes, my plus sign is going to be going right here. I can turn on my my layers here, my line thickness so you can see that a little bit better. So my objective is to kind of have the center mark look like this. So that we have a plus sign in the middle, we'll have these gaps which we're going to trim out and then uh, I'll trim delete out all that extra extra stuff. So what I'm looking to trim is this little piece right here, this little piece, this little piece, this little piece. So let's back up before I put those 
lines in. I'm going to trim these four pieces. Now I have my plus sign in the middle and I want to keep these lines extending out from the plus sign. So I'm going to select all these other lines and delete that out. And that looks real nice. Let's do that again with this center one. Delete or uh, change this center line into an object line. Offset a sixteenth of an inch two times each way. Trim our little lines, delete out our lines that we offset. And we'll do this one more time before we move on. Offset a sixteenth of an inch two times each way. And as you do this, it gets a little bit faster and it's a little bit easier to see what you're trimming off. Get rid of the lines we offset. Okay, so this top part looks really nice. Before we would print this, obviously we'd want to do the other circles. We want it to look just like the original drawing. So we're also going to have one in the center. And it actually looks like this center one might be offset um, by a sixteenth. Or actually what I think happened is because our lines are perfect, because all our plus signs are perfect, it just so happened that little plus sign ended up in the center. So that's something that you'll want to check as you do this drawing with these center marks. Jumping back to our drawing, the last thing we want to do, once we've offset these and our plus signs look really good, we're going to select all of these lines. Because we need them to be in the center line layer, not the object layer. So I converted those into the center line layer. And as you can see, I have this nice plus sign. I have a little gap. I have uh, nice consistent lines all the way around. Okay, This particular one looks a lot better than this one here. If you are doing this drawing for the purposes of manufacturing an object or some type of thing where you need to send this drawing to someone else to build it, they're going to need to see these little plus signs in the center. It really helps clarify what's going on in the drawing. This particular drawing, the gasket drawing, this is a great one to practice this method with because we have lots of different points that we need these little plus signs. We got eight of them. You can additionally come back and do some more on these other uh, small radius curves. We, we need center points for that. And this one down here should probably have one as well. So that is the procedure for creating those nice little plus signs in the center of our circles and arcs. Again, this is just one method. I'm going to teach you another method here a few drawings down the road.